Oh, I just realized I did not put on lipstick. Um, no wonder why my face looked a little weird. It's the weekend and I'm on my way to go to the post office. I just have a few packages to drop off to send to some gals. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna get a P.O. box today. So I have my form, my passport, my driver's license. I'm freaking out a little bit because I'm wondering if they're gonna be like, no, that's not right. I don't know, I just always worry about that. But Donnie's going golfing this morning and I think I'm just gonna hang out at the house. And I know we talked about going on that walking hike trail thing um, at the park that I showed you guys last weekend, but I'm not sure. I'm going to let him do his thing and then I'll worry about my stuff because I need to do some stuff for my channel and whatnot. Charlotte is with us. Charlotte, in the back. Good girl. Good morning. So quiet. See if it works. Where's it at? Oh, I don't know if you guys can see her. She's been so good waiting for us. Oh god. <laughs> guys! Uh, we have a Halloween Happy P.O. Box. I'm so happy and excited. I was getting nervous because like at first when we went in there, there was only one lady that was there so I could ask all of my dumb questions and yeah, but then people kept coming in and it was getting super busy and I don't know, I just thought she would ask me more about getting the box, like what are you using it for and I didn't know if I, what, what, what I would say, so, but yeah, she was super nice and she answered all of my questions and she got me situated, so... There's now a Halloween Happy P.O. Box. We're going back to the house. Donnie's gonna drop us off. He's gonna go hit some balls. And I'm probably going to do something Halloween related. Charlotte, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Charlotte? myself um, I do do hair but it was so long that it was just really hard to do by myself so um, yeah I tried to put layers in it and it, like I said it was just too long so it was just easier for me to have her do it and she also touched up my color um, it was pretty harsh like the uh, it growing out and so she just kind of feathered in a little bit more color and took these pieces just a little bit lighter thinking about going even more lighter up here because it's still kind of dark I don't know I don't know I just don't like how it's like one color here and then it's two colors here and this looks like a little I don't know but yeah so we chopped it a few inches off and um, you guys probably can't tell, but I can. Um, what's that say? New hair? New hair don't curve? No. Um, so, I 
just changed. Um, wearing this old ass sweatshirt that I haven't worn in forever because it was too small. Just got finished doing the dishes. Donnie just left and I'm making my coffee. It's done. Guys, cop. Even if you don't drink coffee, I think you need to get like a coffee candle, something coffee, and have it just smell up your house because it's like the best smell in the world. It just makes me so happy. Earlier this morning, like around 7, we did get up. We still haven't fixed the door, guys. This is what I'm working with. Um, we still. I cannot think. So we did get up and we walked the dogs, which I wasn't sure how I was going to vlog today, but. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe I'll tell you guys later today. If I can shut this shit. Oh my god. Anyways, um, if you like my Facebook page, you would have seen that I, well I'm sure you saw it too because it's pretty important. Um, but yeah, that I posted the trailer. I posted it because I made it. No. I posted, I shared the trailer on my Halloween Happy Facebook page of the new Ghostbusters. And I want to know, are you guys excited about it? I am so excited about it. I am such a fan of Kristen Wiig. I'm a fan of Leslie Jones. I'm a fan of Kate McKinnon. And more importantly, like, I love Melissa McCarthy. Like, she is my soulmate. Like, she, I want to marry her. Like, I want her to be my soulmate. We can grow old together. I love her so much. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. And it's interesting to see what people are saying about it. You should watch the preview. Let me know what you think. I can't wait for it. But the ghost looks so cool and so vibrant. And it's just beautiful. Like, in a creepy, spooky kind of way. So I'm very excited. Um, what else? Now you're in the fridge. Um, oh, that's kind of different, right? What if we had like a fridge talk every like Friday? Like, hey guys, welcome to Friday Fridge Talk. Mm. Um, what was I getting? Oh yes, yeah, stuff from my coffee. And I, I was a vlog, you guys. I've tried to attempt to vlog every day. They're not really going to want to see this. So I just end up deleting the footage that I've done. But... It's okay, I'm gonna show this one to you guys, but I was telling you guys about this kind of creamer. It's dairy-free, soy-free, and I love it. Um, it's only 15 calories per tablespoon, 2 grams of carbs, so it's not bad. So this one is vanilla. It's Califia, Califia Farms. And then this one is also the same brand. This one is hazelnut, so I've been mixing the two. I really love this one, and I've been drinking iced coffee recently. Um, recently, like I've been doing it for a few weeks now, like just this past week. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna mix some coffee. And there's so much stuff that I need to do. Like I need to clean, what kind of glass should I use? Should I use like a little cute mug like this? Or should I use like my little Halloween mug? You know what, we're going with the blue mug today. I think it's fitting. Um, what else did I do today? I mean, it's only, it's still like not even halfway through the day, but yeah. So I am drinking coffee because I feel like it motivates me, which is probably bad that I rely on that, but I do, I think it does. Um, so yeah, what else? Man, my lips look so weird when I don't wear lipstick, but I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger when I don't. It's interesting. But I think we're drinking coffee warm right now anyways. And I really need to do stuff for the clinic, but I want to do phone and stuff. Um, so yeah. I guess I will just, I don't know, I need to figure out something, but... Oh, it feels so hot. I can't wait. Cut the straw because it just kind of seems like right like that, but it's going to be hot, isn't it? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm really needing to pick up this room. I really need to work on my next Halloween happy thing. You guys will see soon. Nothing grand, but um, what else? There was something else I need to work on. Oh, I'm thinking about painting those 
shelves behind me that hold up my desk top over there for my craft table. I'm thinking about painting them white. And also, I was thinking that, I feel like you guys are really far away. Also, I was thinking that maybe I'm just going to go full on Halloween in this room. Should I? So here's what I'm thinking. I really love the color in this room. It's like a very light hint of mint. And I just love it so much. It's just so bright and so happy and I just love it. But I feel like, you know, when I when we were looking for a house, I was like, I just want a room where it could be my Halloween room. Like that's all I've ever wanted. Um, yeah, I have like a bunch of Halloween stuff over here and in my closet and I kind of like rotate everything out, but I think I want it like full blown Halloween, but I'm just scared that what if Halloween is just not as special to me anymore? Like, what am I talking about? Ugh, I'm getting all meh. Um, what if it's not as special anymore to me? Like, when October comes, I'm just like, meh. I mean, I don't think that would happen, but that would be like my worst, one of my worst nightmares if Halloween just didn't touch me like it used to. That's right, I said touch. I think I would paint uh, some kind of gray, I know. Like, Sam, all of the rooms in your house are gray. Like, get over it. Well, it's just such a pretty color and it's super neutral and I just feel like if I painted it beige, that would just look too warm for my Halloween room. So, that's what I'm thinking about, but I don't know, just throwing it out there. And of course, if I did start the journey of turning this room into a Halloween room, I would definitely take you guys along with me. I'm gonna try and do something productive with my day here. I really want to go watch Roseanne. And I forgot to tell you guys, I was so excited. So like before March, I saw, I still watch Roseanne constantly and they've only had season one on there for the past however many years Netflix has been around. And I'm like, when are they going to add the other seasons? Like everyone would watch Roseanne. I used to watch it on Nick at Night when it came on, but we don't have those channels anymore, so maybe it still comes on. If you have Nick at Night, let me know if it still comes on. And if so, if you're watching it or on TV Land, whatever it's called now, let me know what episode you just saw, because I always like to know like what kind of time period, what... I like to know what time period that Roseanne is in. Um, just because it's my favorite show and I love all of the seasons and all of the episodes and I can watch them over and over and over. But anyway, so I've been watching season one over and over and over and over for how many years now? Um, but, so anyways, I was excited that they were going to have season two on there. Um, they said watch season two March 1st. So I go and check it the other night and it's just a bunch of random picked episodes from all different seasons. So it pretty much goes from season one to like season six or five. And I'm like, what the heck? And then I fell asleep while I was watching it and Donnie watched the next episode and Jackie was marrying Fred and then the episode after that, she just went on a date with Fred and was pregnant. So it's not even in order. I'm like, what the heck? Ugh, I love Roseanne. You guys don't understand. Like, she's just the funniest shit I've ever seen. I just love her so much. And just all of the jokes on there are so good. And plus, John Goodman is my husband. I was just telling Donnie, I was like, it's so bizarre watching Roseanne because when I watch it, I really feel like the actors are currently that age that I'm watching them on. And so I'm always like, Oh, I just love John Goodman. He's so handsome. I just love him so much. He's so cute. I could totally see myself John Goodman or Dan. Dan Connor. Let's not... Okay, I don't know John Goodman, but I know Dan Connor. So I could totally see myself with Dan Connor. Although I don't think that we would have any kids. Like, we would just be hanging out. Right now, it's... I don't even know what time it is. Um, let's see. 12.51. Oh my gosh, look, I definitely need to change that. I know it's a gloss paint and the texture that I was painting before was pretty smooth 
and pretty much had like a gloss overlay on that too so the paint's just kind of crawling off of it right now so I thought I would do and usually I can just paint like one coat and it'd be fine. And I also thought about turning that closet into a working area, like putting my computer in there. Ugh, maybe knocking out that shelf. I mean, I would really love that because then I could use the back of that, um, like hang lights and hang pictures and just inspirational Halloween quotes. Then I could always close it off when I'm not working on the computer. I really would love to do that, but... I'm just not sure. Okay, so after like a thousand coats of paint, we're still like that. Alrighty, it's 7.35. A little bit of splotchiness on this side, but I'm not too worried about that. And then this, I'm really not gonna worry about that either because it'll just do for now. It's probably like almost 11 I think. Okay, it's only 10.30. Um, so yeah, just kind of picked up some more stuff and picked up my rat cage and I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. Don't forget to subscribe, I have at least one new video every week. Um, so I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day and I will see you next time. Bye!